probably the biggest and earliest adoptions that I took from from the relationship with you in the beginning was journaling. And for everybody that's on this call listening right now, uh, that's already in my world in Keller Williams, they know that this is something I'm passionate about. And I, I talk about and I preach. And, and I really feel like that was one of the things, especially in the beginning, when you have the tough days, you get punched in the face and you're like, wow, why am I going through all this? But then every morning when you wake up and you start that process over again, it's just amazing how that can totally ground you and bring you back to where you need to be. But one thing I want to share is the really amazing thing of this. Like for me, you know, passive income, uh, that, that's a huge passion of mine, right? I want to create legacy wealth for my family. I want the future generation to have to not worry about anything. I want my wife and I to live the life of our dreams, uh, which we're very much so on the way to, to living and achieving. But what I love now is I look back occasionally at the journals from 2017, 18 and 19 and a lot of the goals that I put in there and I was just so focused on, I've already achieved them. So it, it's like I've already kind of like just written that and in, embedded that in my mind and now it's just come full circle. So I agree and, and for everybody listening, if we went a little fast there, we're going to make sure that we put the journaling process in the notes. We're also going to make sure um, to, to send out some other piece of content if you'd like around that. So feel free to reach out and uh, we'll get that over to you. So another thing that, that where I want to go with this, all right, is you. one of the other things that I took from you and one of the other things that I continue to focus on is you're not distracted by, you're not pulled in every single direction, right? You're not the email comes in, you have to answer the email immediately. The notification comes in on the cell phone, you don't have to act immediately, right? And one of those things that I really took away was that you can't let someone else run your schedule, you have to run your own schedule. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Yeah, so I'll say it like this, with full transparency, mm -hmm. I don't like to work. <laughs> okay, okay. So, so when I work, when I'm supposed to work, I work less. Got it. Okay, so I'll give you an example. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, as you can imagine, how many social media notifications I get. Oh, you know, I, can, I can imagine. Hey, you know, we're talking about hundreds a day, but, you know, I don't know, probably four or 500, including emails and text messages and all kinds of social media notifications, and stuff like that. There's a set time in my schedule that I actually respond back to everyone. So I'm operating my day around what causes me to grow for me and you know my community first, and then I serve everyone else. So if someone's gonna message me in the evening and I'm doing nothing, yeah, I'll respond to that because I'm doing nothing, okay? Uh, but yeah, Greg, it, it boils down to you having a daily agenda. And I'll tell you exactly what my process is very quickly. Sure, please. Your day begins the night before. Your day doesn't begin when you wake up. Mm -hmm. So every single evening, I answer the same exact question. And the question is, what are the three to five most important things I must do tomorrow to get closer to my goals and dreams? That's it. What are the three to five things? Okay. So as I begin my day, my goal is to get rid of those three to five things as I possibly can so that I can go do whatever the heck I want. Okay. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that I only work one or two hours every single day. Yeah, some days that's all I do work. But. <laughs> I love when I talk to you and I'm like, so what are you doing after? So you're like, oh, I'm going to go walk for like four or five miles. Yeah. You know, the, the thing is, and you know, you're allowed to have that balance and, and that freedom when you've already paid the price. Now, if you would have asked me that same exact question many, many, many years ago, I would have been like, yeah, I'm, I'm pulling in a 12 hour shift today. I'm pulling mm -hmm. in, you know, 20 hour shift today, et cetera. Uh, because I don't know how to do things back then the way I do them right now. Okay. So, so Greg, it, it's all about, again, this is probably like the 10th time this, these two words are going to come up, personal responsibility. I'm responsible, okay, for getting a specific job done if I want that destination. And in order for me to get that destination, I have to say no more than I say yes to the request of the world. I love that. I love that. And you know, that's something I'm constantly working on myself to get better with and more disciplined with. So 
I, I like that. It's going back to the personal responsibility. Mm-hmm.